Good afternoon, this is our MF HF DAC equipment. Now we are facing an issue with transmission. So before that I will try and transmit it once again. So I'll, this is in the SSB mode. So I will change the mode to DAC and try and send to Viluna. So I will be transmitting on 6, sorry 8 frequency. Because this is daytime, I am using 8. Format is individual. Category, I am putting a safety. And party ID, I will be using the Viluna party ID. That is the code station 005030001. Then telecommand, I will be using a test. And I will try and transmit it. I will use the call button. Even when I am transmitting, it is on 8 frequency. So, let us wait for any acknowledgement. The problem with this equipment is it is having an exciter error. So, transmission is not happening. So you can see it is still scanning the DAC, uh, DAC frequencies but no res reception is not happening. So since I am familiar with this equipment I know that there is a fault that is the reason I am uh, that is the reason I am telling you that there is an exciter error but let us check it manually. So I will go back to mode and do a system check in the self test once i use the self test i am getting receiver is good watch receiver is good but exciter is showing as error if the exciter error is happening that means there is no tx happening so this is an error that's the reason we are unable to send a test call so what will you do when such an error happens? First thing you have to do is you will make an entry in your GMDSS logbook. So let us check our GMDSS logbook. So this is our GMDSS radio logbook. And since it is a weekly test, under the weekly test, on the date, under MFHF radio equipment with DSE, I have written down the time of testing, tested with which station and no BQ received. So we doubt a system error is there. So we done a self test, exciter error was being shown. So we will stop testing till further repair. There is no point testing it now and a repair list has been issued to the company. So this is how you will make an entry on your GMDSS radio logbook. Now once the repair is done. I will add the video to it so it will be a complete video. Thank you. Now our MFHF DAC has been repaired by the short technician so let us uh, start it again. Remember we are having uh, the exciter error. So as soon as we on the tuner is showing as ready. Let us do a self check. So for self test we will be using the SSB. Because in DAC mode there is no self test available, you can see. So I'll go back to SSB. So in the menu, in I'll just do a self test. Let's check the that error on receiver was showing error because the gain was kept to zero so i'll keep the gain at around middle so we'll do the test again you can see the receiver is showing good so 
as you can see all the errors have been rectified remember when you do a self test put the gain at around mm, half or above the half then only the receiver is going to show the good else it will show error so this is how uh, we will do the self test and now i'll show you the log entries that has to be made since the rectification was carried out so this is the service report uh, i have shown you the entry we had made on the radio logbook for the faults the that we found in the mfhf so once we get the service report we had tested it also now we will write make a log entry on the radio logbook so this is the radio logbook on the date the service was carried out we will make an entry about what all repairs were carried out and whether a check was made so we found everything satisfactory this is how you will make an entry on the radio logbook with respect to any repairs that were carried out to the mfhf thank you